What's up guys, Shane here from Zugadek 3D Printing, and today we're taking a look here at a brand new 3D printer just got sent to me. This is the QD Tech X Smart 3. Let's check it out. All right, so this just came in the mail today. Uh, this is sent to me by Geek Buying. They're the same ones that sent me the uh, laser engraver that I've been, that I reviewed a couple months ago um, that I've been using from small projects. Um, but yeah, this is the QD, QD Tech X Smart 3. So it's a small, I think it's enclosed um, printer. Once we get into some of the things here. Oh, look at that. All right, so we've got, um, see if I can roll this over like this here. We've got some stuffs in here, okay? So we've got, whoop, hold that. All right, we've got power. We have manual, little quick start guide. Um, this is interesting. USB flash drive included, and it's like taped into place. Can I get the tape off? That's interesting. It is uh, not a sand disc. <laughs> Um, PLA Rapido in black. And then we have a super duper sharp little uh, print removal tool, spool holder, and tools to include extra nozzle, fuse, and bolts. Cool. All right, next, put that down. Oh, is this all one big thing? No, it's just thick. Thick boy. Uh, now, we're gonna dig us to the floor. Man, the styrofoam is um, quite tight on it. Quite tight. Come on, come on, come on, okay. Man, they this is foreign fitting. Okay, all right, and then in the bottom, we've got a glue stick right here. Okay. This is a pretty compact little guy. Remind you of any other printers out there on the market right now? Hmm? Okay, so we've got lots of, I call this printer tape, because anytime you buy a printer, it's got this like clear security tape on it. When I say all over the place, I mean all over the place. Oh, whoa. Oh, that comes off. Yeah. Okay, front LCD peel. Okay, I've got a little plate. It is 185 by 185. Strong magnet. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions here. So at least we've got all the outer stuff off, which is you know, great to get that done. Special paper build, special paper for build plate leveling. Uh, when, when leveling the interface, click the icons up or down to adjust the distance. So it comes with a specific little sheet here. Can you stop? So yeah, so we'll have to keep that aside. And here's the quick start guide. Underneath you can set it from 110 to 220. All right, so we took it out and it kind of tells you all the different things here you need to do to prep it. So, all right, we need to open this up. So let's get some snips. If we open this up look inside we've got some zip ties here some wrap so get those ones out I got some on the other side here okay so those ones are all done kind of walks you through all the different ones here that we need to do and now we're gonna open up here at the top and here's our x-axis and extruder here some Thick boy cable ties on here, man. Guard the cardboard. I can move now. Okay. Got a piece of foam back here. Okay. Now, the build plate is secured to the floor. Best I can do. All right, so down here, we've got these say remove screws. And while they give you a screwdriver, I'm going to use a better one. Ooh, those are in there tight. That is a screw. 
there's four of these suckers need to come out. Good gravy. All right, so let's talk about some stats on this printer. So the build plate is 185 by 185 by, actually no, that's, it says it's 185, but the documentation here says it is 175 by 180 by 170 for height. It's a core XY. Uh, let's see, X axis is 10 millimeter wear resistant carbon fiber rods. So that's interesting. A double Z axis, 42 to 48 high speed motors. Brass nozzle, 0.4, 1.75 millimeter. Lunar substrate heating bed. Double sided flexible magnetic heating plate. Heat bed goes up to 120. So the nozzle goes, printing speed 250 to 500. Chamber temperature 50 C without chamber heating. I don't know if this has chamber heating, but it's what it gets up to. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of this trash. All right, so we have taken out the screws. Oh, I think it walks you through this actually. I think it does, let's power it on. Let's make sure my temp, my, uh, I have this set to the right voltage and power on. That is a large and in charge screen. Ooh, there we go, we got lights, got lights. Okay, all right, so English next. Oh, see it does, it's even color. It tells you all what we need to do. There we go, that's better. All right, do not scratch carbon fiber rod. Okay, we took out those screws. Next, please make sure the platform is clean and unlocked. Um, I'm pretty sure it's good. Oh, oh, there's a piece of foam underneath. See that? Take out the packing foam. Look at that. Good job. Okay. We can say next. Preheat the hotbed to filament printing temperature before leveling. So we're gonna set this up to 60. That's great, tells you how to do it. So preheat the hotbed with the filament temperature, printing temperature before leveling, the leveling effect will be better. No, please wait for the temperature to reach the set temperature before clicking the button below, the button next to it. Now, there is a, looks like there's a leveling probe right there. It's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? Let's take a look, closer look inside. So right here, looks like there is a leveling probe right there. We've got our nozzle. You can see there's a fan in the back for ventilation. There's some warnings in the back there as well. So carbon fiber tubes cannot be replaced. Use absolute alcohol, ice alcohol to clean the carbon fiber tubes every one to two weeks. Huh, I guess because they're injection molded and pressed in there, it can't do it. And there's another one back there. Please loosen two screws holding the belt for two or three turns and then adjust the belt tightness when adjusting the screw. So it tells you how to tighten it back there as well. Hmm, okay, so we are at temperature now. Platform is initializing. Please look, the platform and nozzle are initializing. I wonder how loud this thing's gonna be. It's a lot of plastic. Okay, adjust the platform height with the up and down buttons. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get our little handy dandy sheet they gave us here. I mean, it's, honestly, that's spot on right there. That feels pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, it actually feels really good right there. See, so this is just where it came off of the bat and I got a little bit of uh, tension in there. So we're just gonna hit next. And it says the compensative values are being collected. Please wait. And it actually, does it move? No, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it was, I thought it would move with it. But it's running its test here. All right, Arbor Leveling complete, completed. Input shaping running. Holy smokes, this has input shaper. So it is wiggling the head. Right in here. It's we're going back and forth, super small, real fast movements. You can hear it kind of ramp up. The 
whole thing is shaking. <laughs> I've never done import shaping like this before. I've always done it like manual calculations. So this is interesting to me. So it's telling us how to load film in here. So on the back here, this is just a uh, filament sensor. So if we get our uh, there, push that down. Get up the PLA Rapido. This is their own filament, it seems like. Put this on here, place it in here, and then, all right, so that's in. So next, 220 is what it heats up to. So I have that push all the way in. There's a red light on the back here that shows that it's heating. So let's give it a second while it heats up. I mean, it's nice that it kind of walks you through all this with a nice color screen. You don't get that out of most printers. Again, I don't know what any other, the, some of the newer ones are like, um, but at least none of the printers that I've ever used. All right, so we're at temperature. Next, uh, ensure the filament is coming out and being loaded. So I just was uh, extruding it, it's there. So I hit next, and then guide tutorial finished. Congrats, guide tutorial finished. Pull that filament off. So it's Clipper, coming in a second, it's based on Clipper, what's well, Quark's Y. SOC is a Cortex A53 1.5 gigahertz. I can turn the lights on and off. So that's our home, so then we've got some things that are already um, pre-sliced, a couple files on here. We can go to settings, we can manually home and move everything, turn off the motors. Here's our auto bed leveling, input shaping, and Z offset, and then network. Oh, I can connect it to my Wi-Fi. Interesting. Might have to give that a shot here. And then language after sale. So I'm playing reminders to reboot. Notice system works properly and about. Let's do a print. All right. There's a puzzle cube. There's a benchy. It's got a picture of it. It'll take 17 minutes. What do we think? I think it would take 17 minutes. Let's get this in here now get you guys nice and close okay and we're gonna watch this 17 minute benchy go down okay let's hit start please open the top cover to keep it ventilated let's tell me open the top cover okay and we're gonna leave the front door open and all right confirm we're gonna let this 17 minute benchy happen and let's see if it can do it.
All right, so this complete time spent 17 minutes and there it is. So confirm out there. Ooh, sticks on there pretty good. All right, let's have a quick gander at this. All right, so see the bottom, it's overall pretty good. Definitely see layout. I mean, this is honestly the fastest benchy I've ever done. I've never done a 17 minute benchy before. But uh, yeah, I mean, is this any better lighting in here? All right, so you can see there's a little bit of issue down there, but otherwise, you can definitely see the layer lines. It's, uh, but man, it was quick. Uh, a little bit of issue there on the back, some of the retraction. Bottom, it stuck really well to the bed and cooling, honestly great. Really good cooling, overhangs look good, a little bit of drooping there. But hey, for a 17 minute benchy, um, <laughs> it's not too bad, honestly. All right, so it's not really a review of this printer. Just kind of want to do a, a first look and just the first prints. Again, this 17 minute benchy was definitely 17 minutes. And for a 17 minute benchy, the fastest thing I've ever printed, it's not too bad. Uh, the printer is uh, extremely loud and I don't see any, okay, there's a USB port on the side. So I don't really see anything else for, um, there's no SD card to put in there. So it's via USB with the USB that they sent with it, which is here, or it's Wi-Fi printing via their reskinned push slicer, which I'm okay with because I know push slicer. I'm so glad it's not Cura, honestly. But I mean, this is very much a absolute attack at Bamboo on what they're doing. Uh, Cause I think the Bamboo came out before this. Uh, it's smaller than I think that is, but man, is it fast, man, is it loud. Once all these fans start kicking in, it gets pretty toasty. Uh, so that's really it for today for the first look and kind of first prints with this machine. I'm going to do some more prints with it over the next couple weeks and we'll get a review out here soon about it, let you guys know if this is worth buying. This is uh, 350 right now on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check it out. Um, I don't know much about it yet, so if you wanna buy one and get one, by all means, knock yourself out, but hopefully I will have some good news uh, or news at all about how this thing looks. So thank you all for tuning in, really appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, make sure you check out down below, there's a bunch of links. Again, a fill link to this and some other ones. Uh, feel free to use those, supports the channel, uh, and it lets companies send me printers like this for me to check out here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time, and happy printing.